Hello everybody, welcome to the first wind chill tutorial. Um, hopefully this will be a video series that helps you get better acquainted with the PTC product me project management software wind chill. Um, so I'm going to show you first how to get to the site. And as you can see here, I am at Google, um, but we're really going to just type in the address bar, academic.ptc.com. And this is the site you want to go to uh, to log in. And so if I hit enter, it is going to come up with a pop-up that is going to ask me for my username and password. Now your username um, is not just some random username. It's the email that you have used with the team and the one that the team has signed you up and for the project on Windchill with. In my case, that is going to be my email. Benjamin.j.scherotter at gmail.com and my password is going to be a password that you don't need to know. So once I have these in I can click login or I can click enter. Um, it's not going to really change and this will load the home screen. It says welcome to Windchill. Easy to find information you all care about. Um, now obviously if this was really helpful you probably wouldn't need these tutorial videos so have no fear, uh, we're still going to press on with this. Although, if you are one of those people that likes to read different things, uh, go ahead and have a look into this. Uh, you might find it more helpful than these, if you would like. Uh, the one thing I am going to focus on first in this video is the home screen. Uh, this is not really the home screen, this is the generic home screen. Um, we want to go up to the top left corner to this little house button or home button and that's where you're going to want to click to find your home screen kind of like in social media um, any profiles you have so I'm gonna real quick minimize some of this thing uh, these things because it might look a little daunting but what this is is your home screen is it's somewhat of an RSS feed um, I don't know if any of you listen to podcasts but it's similar to a feed of things that you have subscribed to so if any meeting is coming out that I need to be part of, it will come up and it will show here what kind of meeting it is, and I can click on it for further details. If someone has given me a task, or if someone has given you a task, under the tasks, it will have the task uh, and the deadline, when it was assigned, uh, the state of the task, the status. In this case, I do have one, and it is make educational windshield tutorial videos for um, all of you watching this right now. Now, when you click this home button, you probably aren't going to see all of these because what you have to do is you have to go, and this is where it might get a little complicated or where they just make it a little bit more difficult, is you have to go to the other side of the screen on the right side and you'll see a customize button. And when you click that customize button, you're going to see a list of all the things you have somewhat subscribed to. Now, I don't want to use the word subscribe to too much because as you can see there is a subscriptions thing um, so it's kind of we don't want to get confused um, that your subscriptions is the only thing you sort of subscribe to but these are all the things you will see on your home page and so if you're a member of Crevolution you should check tasks so that you can see tasks you should check updates I have checked out work just because it's always nice to see when someone has checked out a document and what they're working on Meetings will also be nice. Uh, you should be sub signed up or subscribed to that so that if there are very important meetings that we need to notify people about via Windchill, you will be notified that w about that when you log in. Subscriptions, I can discuss this perhaps later, um, but what this subscription means is that when you want to have a document, say, on Windchill, and you want to make sure you follow any changes or anything that is done to that document, or perhaps a discussion because there is a discussion in form section as well you follow or you subscribe to that item or that document and then any changes will come up in subscriptions um, that's a very rough uh, summary of what it can contain and everything and there are of course other things such as discussions and a whole lot you can uh, subscribe to in a sense but tasks meetings um, updates and checked out works should be at least tasks and meetings should be the bare minimum of as a member of Crevolution is what you should be subscribed to. Um, for example, if I want to know that I have been assigned a task, all I have to do is click on this task and it will come up with all the information. This is why this is very good. 
because if, say, you don't come to a meeting and you need to know what happened, you can just go to your tasks right here, click on this, and you'll get all the information. You'll know the name of the task, when it was created, right here. You can see who it was created by. It will probably be your sub-team leader. In this case, it's just me because I am documents and submission. Uh, down here at the bottom, you can see a description. If whoever makes the item chooses to, they can make a short description uh, providing what you need to know. There's also some things down here uh, which you might not need to pay attention to. Cost, uh, if you are part of the PR team or finance team and you're doing something, or part of the build team and you're requesting a purchase, that should probably be filled out accordingly. Risk, very low. Status green, go ahead. Percent complete, also at the bottom here. If you are working on the task and it is almost done, or if it is halfway done, or if you haven't started on it at all, um, that will be notified there. Also, you will be able to see, going back up here, you will be able to see who it was created by, but also who it was assigned to. So if this is assigned to somebody else, and it is created by the sub-team leader, you can see that relationship there. Um, in my case, I am the same person doing the task, so no big deal. Um, it also has an estimated start, an actual start date, and then actual finish and estimated finish. I think that's somewhat of a redundancy windchill has, um, but nonetheless it can be filled out when you when someone makes a task. For any general members of Crevolution, um, creating a task for someone to do is something we will cover in a later video, but as of now, you should all know how to view a task you are assigned to. Well, first you should be able to navigate to the page. You should be able to see a task someone has assigned you, gather the information from either the description, who it is assigned to, who it is created by, what time it should be finished, so a due date, um, the priority of the object, high, and we need this, we need everyone on the team to know this so that uh, work can get done properly and so people are keeping informed. This is very helpful because if people aren't able to get to meetings, they are still at their homes and they still have internet access, hopefully, and you are able to access this and keep in contact or keep in touch and know what is going on with Windshield. Um, so that is all. Once again, to review, log in to academic.ptc.com, log in, you will click this home button, and you will see all the things you are somewhat subscribed to. Um, it is very important to note the tasks and meetings because you need to stay informed as a member of the team. The way you sign up for these is by going to this button customize and clicking on them. Uh, hopefully next time we will go either into making a task or browsing around and searching for different folders. Uh, thank you so much for listening. Hope this helped and we will see you next time.